Drug companies are the most wealthy business on the planet. They have so much money that is unimaginable. And they buy everyone with an influence, including sometimes ministers of health. And of course, when they buy doctors, they start with the professors and chairman, chiefs of department, and then they educate them so that they can become what they call key opinion leaders, so they can indoctrinate other doctors that some terrible, terribly expensive drug should be used and not a cheap one which might even be better or having less side effects. So uh, medical education is partly corrupted. No doctor should ever go to any educational event where the drug industry has put money in it. Of course they don't select key opinion leaders that are not good salespeople for them. And if they start talking about harms of the company's drugs or start praising a competitor's drug, of course that person wouldn't show up next time, that's obvious.